Wouldn't it be awesome if you could create a master template project within DaVinci Resolve? One for Instagram, one for YouTube, for example. So when it comes down to create those videos, you can open this template, all your intro and outro are there, your music, all your project settings are all set, that sort of thing, and then you can just crack on with editing. And wouldn't it be really awesome if you could open that in read-only mode so that you couldn't accidentally overwrite this template and it's always there for you whenever you need it. Fortunately, that's actually really easy to do within DaVinci Resolve. So if you've already got a project setting set and you just need to know how to open it in read-only mode, use the little chapters on YouTube to skip to that section. But for everyone else, let's go through the whole process from start to finish. My name's Alex, this is Mr. Alex Tech. Let's open DaVinci Resolve and take a look. So here we are within the DaVinci Resolve Project Manager. This is usually the first thing that you see every time you open up DaVinci Resolve. Let me show you something really quickly. If you're already in DaVinci Resolve and this is closed down, you can get back into it really quickly by clicking on this little house icon in the bottom right hand corner and that will just open up your project manager. Now what we're going to do is to create a couple of really simple master templates which you'll use whenever you're starting a new project. So you can see here I've already got one set up called YouTube Master. So whenever I create a YouTube video, I'll open that one up and then it's got loads of great things on it like any intros or outro videos. It's got all my audio tracks set up and leveled exactly as I like them. All the project settings are set as I want them. All that sort of good stuff. It just saves you time whenever you're creating a new video. So what I'm going to do to create one of these, I'll make a new one now called Instagram. So I'm going to create an Instagram master. So I'm going to click on new project the same way that you'd create any other project at all. I'm going to call this Insta Master and we'll hit create. Once the project opens up like so, just do anything that you usually would need to. So first things first, if you didn't catch my Instagram video, it's linked down in the description below. I'm going to shoot into my project settings. I'm going to change my resolution to 1080. I'm going to change my image scaling to full frame with crop and we'll save that. I've imported some media, so maybe intro videos, outro videos, any logos that pop up during the video, music you use, that sort of thing. As you can see, because I've set my timeline, it's automatically square and it will scale everything. I can have the music on there ready to go. I can level all my audio, do all the things that you'd usually like to do. And then once you're done, all you need to do is to make sure that that project is saved. So I'm just going to save that project. Perfect. And then we're just going to close DaVinci Resolve like I'm coming back into it from a fresh. And here it is. So I'm back in my project manager. I've just opened DaVinci Resolve for the first time. And you can see I've got my Insta master file here. Now, rather than double clicking to open it like you'd expect, just right click. And you see you've got this option here, open in read only mode. So I'm going to give that a click and it'll open the project as you'd expect. We've got everything set up on my timeline, but because we're in read only mode, which we know for sure because it says read only at the top here in red, it means that whatever we do to this project will never overwrite this Insta master project. That will always remain exactly as it is. But what's really important, as soon as you open this master, this read only template, just hit control and S on your keyboard like you're gonna try and save the project. And rather than saving and overwriting the master project, it's going to ask you to give it a new name and save the current project as. So let's say that I was making a five minute Friday. I can hit save. It'll now say five minute Friday at the top. The read only will go. And I've got this new five minute Friday project that has everything from that master already good to go. And we know that that master project is safe and sound. Nothing will be changed and it'll be perfect ready for the next video. And that's it. I hope this video was useful. Not the most creative video in the world, this one, but super practical and really, really handy to know. If it was useful, give me a thumbs up. Any comments or feedback, make sure to leave them down below. And if you're new here, you enjoyed this video, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks ever so much for watching, folks. Take it easy. I'll catch you next time. See ya.